Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. Remember the character on Seinfeld who said, no soup for you? Well, you're about to meet a man who took that character and made it a successful brand. Joseph Hagen is the president of Gallant Brands and owner of the original Soup Man. Thanks for joining us. I really appreciate you coming in. Thank you for having me. So why would you take a character that would refuse people soup and made a, make a brand out of it? Crazy concept. I mean, the answer is because it's phenomenal soup. It's a great product, and that's why um, he had lines. But um, he, he was made famous on Seinfeld simply because people would be willing to wait a long... New Yorkers who really don't wait for anything would wait a long time, you know, for, you know, phenomenal soup. I read, the, I read an interview uh, with you when you said you have to respect the soup. Yes. If you don't respect the soup, then you shouldn't get it. Correct. And that, that was the concept behind the... And you're, you're affiliated with him, right? The original actor? Yes, he's our, he's our original soup man. And you own uh, No Soup For You? Well, that's our trademark, yes. And so you've, you've, you've copyrighted the trademark, and so it belongs to you now. How's the, how's the brand doing? The brand is doing great. Um, we came along, Gallant Brands, and bought the company out of bankruptcy just over a year ago. Um, prior management had too many struggles with it. And so myself and a group of investors basically with a lot of different business backgrounds uh, purchased the company and we've repurposed it not only are we in supermarkets in the grocery aisle but we want to be a presence in the fresh aisle uh, in the deli section uh, and also start the whole food service program as well you say you're in 7,000 stores right now roughly and that's across Supermarket. the country yes that's pretty amazing. And mm -hmm. uh, w so where do you hope to take this? I mean, uh, you said the deli part of it, but I, I haven't, I, I met you and I know how successful you are and I know you're from Eatontown. I haven't seen your brand yet in the supermarket. So there's some, there's some places that don't carry it right now. Well, do you do the shopping? Yes, I do. I actually so do. go to the soup aisle locally, shop right, stop and shop. You can go to originalsoupman.com. We're in Kroger's. We're in a lot of banners across the country. Um, and like I said, it's in the soup aisle, um, and there really is, you know, no end to the potential, you know, for soup right now. And on trend right now is healthier, fresher soups. So yeah, the reason I asked the question is because when you said 7,000, I said, well, how many supermarkets can there be? Oh, I think there's, I think, 25,000. There's a, there's a lot of supermarkets, depending on if you're including convenience stores into that number. But uh, there's some more supermarkets we'd like to get to, um, and we're supporting that business now. But our, our main focus right now is a fresh branded soup program because that's what people want. And a fresh branded food product because I understand that, you're, and you're right here from Eatontown, so Correct. you're a, a local business made good, mm -hmm. um, but you're also in the New York City schools. Yes, we are. So we have a product that's a variation of our soup using a lot of our spice blends that uh, Mexicali beans and stewed pinto beans are the two meals, and we serve them. We're on the menu for the New York City uh, Board of Ed. So one of them we use in, uh, they use in a veggie taco, another one they use as a side dish. And it's awesome because unfortunately a lot of kids go to school hungry and parents can be assured that they're getting a lot of fiber and protein and all fresh, no preservatives, a really healthy meal. So since you're making this healthy food for school kids, you would think you'd take that and want to expand that and sell it. Yes. A absolutely, great point. We're actually in the process of opening a kiosk in the middle of Times Square, and I think it would be awesome to see that locals and tourists would enjoy a veggie taco bowl just like the kids do in New York City schools. And so we'd like to get more school systems and like to get it into more, you know, franchise and other food store operations. Easy to eat, healthy, and, and so it's, it sounds perfect for tourists. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we have a plant in the Bronx which right down the block is the largest produce market in the world. So we get the freshest produce and the freshest beans and the freshest uh, ingredients and we make it you know, daily and it's delivered. And like I said, that is what's on trend. People don't want preservatives and, and you know, other uh, products that are not healthy, right? It certainly can be avoided. And we have the freshest ingredients that go in and you know, you know that you know, you don't have to worry about ripping open a can or something like that to have our soup and really enjoy a delicious meal. Right. I want to get back to the soup for a second because y you made a point of saying that the, the past ownership wasn't running the company right. When you came in, you insisted the soup was made fresh every day? 
Yeah, well, they, they weren't even making fresh soup anymore at that point. And as an investor in our group, we were really frustrated. They were only supporting the supermarket business, uh, which is phenomenal. It's a Tetra Pak business. It's, it's made in Wisconsin. You know, it, you, know you just tear it. It, it's, it has a two-year shelf life, yet it has no preservatives. So it's a technology oh. that's they, they have one plant in Pittsburgh and one plant in Wisconsin. Our customers in Wisconsin. And uh, so f as far as the grocery aisle goes, you're not going to get fresher. Uh, you know, I have daughters. They can rip it open, pour it out, heat it and eat it. And you have a meal that has no preservatives and is delicious. So at the same time, you know, there are franchises and there are places like the New York City schools where we wanted to make fresh product ourselves and control our own destiny. So we partnered with and since then have purchased a company called Island Fresh that has a food production plant right in the Bronx in Hunts Point and a distributor in Brooklyn. So that in the tri-state area, we want to bring the freshest soups and the freshest meals to not only school kids, but to, you know, all consumers of every age. So getting back to my example of going out and not seeing it, I probably go and I go, well, there's Campbell's and I just grab it. Or I go, there's somebody else and I, and I, I just grab it. To, it's worth taking a few more seconds to take a look up and down the aisle yes. because you'll get a fresher product. Absolutely, it's in a Tetra Pak. And what we've done, um, if I may, we have done a few, uh, filmed a few commercials using Larry Thomas um, on our YouTube channel, Original Soup Man. And the idea is to get people like yourself to just try it because in the supermarkets that we were in and the data that we studied with the old management team, we have one of the highest uh, loyalty repeat purchases of any brand in the store. So the idea, obviously, we need to get more people to try it so they know, understand that it's And there. it only takes an extra second. You just have to Absolutely. stop and, and look up and down and find it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming You're welcome, in. Larry. Thank you. Joseph Hagen is president of Gallon Brands and owner of the original Soup Man. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Just ahead, we'll talk about why there is a big influx of Cuban immigrants to one New Jersey community when Jersey Matters continues.